ever have to embellish or exaggerate what you're feeling to get people to actually understand the impact it has on you? You're not being dramatic, you're not being too emotional, and it's definitely not all in your head. In this video, learn why it often feels impossible to be taken seriously as a deeply feeling person. sensitive or a deep feeler, you notice your emotions at such a subtle nuanced level and you feel a much wider range of emotions that those experiences can be more hurtful, uncomfortable, even be exciting more so than other people's. You're going to notice that this goes both ways. You can feel the positive and the negative much more deeply in more nuanced ways. But a lot of times others, they don't take it seriously because they don't feel at that same level. They don't understand what that's like. They don't have quite the same range of emotional capacity or awareness of subtleties that you do. So when you're trying to get someone to understand how something is impacting you, how do you get that across? How do you get them to understand when they don't experience it themselves? You may have to elaborate or embellish or even feel like you're being dramatic, exaggerating what you're going through to help them understand what's happening in the moment for you. Because to them, it's no big deal. Maybe it doesn't even register or they feel it and they move on. But as a deep processor, a deep feeler, you're not only feeling it so deeply, you're even thinking about it for a long time and trying to make sense, trying to make meaning of what just happened. Why did this happen to me? Why am I feeling this way? How am I going to get through this? Or some questions that might be coming up for you trying to figure out. So you're not over-exaggerating. You're just trying to communicate your experience through whatever way that you can, whatever language you can, to translate it for someone who has a different relationship with their emotions. That can be really hard to do. And it makes sense to be very detailed. You may even want to try using metaphor or examples to help them understand what you're going through and connect it to how they experience their feelings. So you could say something like, you know, the other day when you got overwhelmed at work, that's how I feel about this situation, or that's how I feel often. You want to bring them into your world, essentially. So what has your experience been like communicating your feelings and your needs to others? I would really love to know. Please let me know in the comments below what your experience has been. And you can also check the description for more HSP resources, including my free sensitive self-care workshop. So thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon.